Hey guys, Jessica again. So we're still on the renal system. We're gonna talk today about the BUN and creatinine. So if you've seen my previous videos, you'll remember that if your BUN is high, you're dehydrated. And if your BUN is low, you're on fluid overload. Low, low. I know, drop low. Hey, what's up? Okay, so your BUN is made in the liver and a normal BUN level is like eight to 25. So as weird as it sounds, I remember you have 825 liver buns right? Weird, but that help you remember that your BUN, your buns, your buns made in the liver and you have 8 to 25 of them. So you could remember 8 to 25. So if it's increased, dehydrated, decreased fluid overload, okay? Um, your BUN is a byproduct of protein metabolism and it's an indirect measurement of your renal function and your GFR. So if you have um, decreased protein in your diet, then you have a decreased BUN. Um, if you have increased, you could see in your patient um, dehydration, renal failure. Um, if it's increased, if their protein's too high, you'll see an increase also in the BUN. And um, if they have, um, what I wanna say, oh, a decrease in renal perfusion, you will see an increase in the BUN. Okay, so now creatinine, right? You're always wondering what is creatinine? I didn't quite get the ratio. Creatinine is a byproduct of your muscle metabolism. Um, it is excreted by the kidneys and your creatinine level is normally 0 0.6 to 1.5, 0 0.6 to 1.5 and it reflects your GFR, your glomerular, oh geez, glomeration filtration rate. Sorry, it's so hard to say. So with creatinine, right? It's a byproduct of muscle metabolism. So you would see an increase in men because men usually have more muscle than women. And then think about where you would see a decrease in creatinine. Well, if you think about it, children or also the elderly have lower muscle mass. So you would see a decreased creatinine level in them. Um, it barely, usually rarely fluctuates. So you'll see your BUN level kind of go up and down on the labs. Um, but your creatinine will stay low. And then they do the BUN creatinine ratio to kind of help see what's going on. So if your BUN and your creatinine both increase, then that leads to renal failure because that means there's a problem with, with the kidneys and both of them are going up. If your BUN goes up but your creatinine stays the same, it could be a pre-renal failure or it could be um, dehydration. So those are some things definitely to understand um, on your patients what you need to know. Now normal urine output on your patient should be roughly about 1500 mils in 24 hours and at least every hour you would like to see 30 mils an hour to um, make sure that they're filtering everything right. So if your glomerular filtration rate is low that could lead to kidney failure or injury or be a result of it. The GFR rate it's a best indicator of your overall renal function um, and actually the, the crazy thing is, so you filter roughly about 45 gallons a day of fluid, 125 mils a minute through your kidneys is going through the glomerulus and it's getting filtered out. So with that filtration rate, that's telling you how well your kidneys are filtering things. Um, and let's see. So say for example, your patient has heart failure, your BUN would be increased probably because they're not getting enough, your kidneys aren't getting enough fluid from your heart to perfuse. So in heart failure, the BUN would definitely be going up. I'm looking for one other slide here I wanted to go over. Okay, well, there's BUN and creatinine, enjoy.